Hey. Yes? Don't make this mistake. I'm doing the right thing. Don't try and interfere. I know you don't agree with me that releasing mind-reading technology without a defense will cause a panic. Fine, put that aside. If you don't agree to make a defense, I'm releasing your specifications publicly, tonight. I thought you wanted to avoid chaos. Well, what other choice do I have? We need a defense as soon as possible. If you won't agree to make one, we'll have to put it in the hands of the world. Do you seriously think that you can convince me to negate my own invention? Look, releasing mind-reading technology won't get you your utopia. It'll only turn public opinion against you. This is a good move for you, too. Even if it does create chaos at first, I believe that humanity will see the good this can do. Will see my vision. Our vision. Come on, you know better than that. If people are panicked, scared, even if you're right, they won't think about it logically. If you really want people to adopt this, use it ethically, you have to think long and hard about your first impression. What happened? Nothing. Please, just talk to me, please. We weren't talking before. Yes, we were. Okay, do you think I want to go ballroom dancing with you? I don't know. <laughs> do you think I wanted you to tell everyone about my poems? No. You, you, you don't know. And I don't know if this, us, means you're gonna want me to be serious all the time because I really like you, but I, I can't do that. Yeah, don't be silly. Or do. You know what I mean. You're right. We have a lot to talk about. But I was just so happy. <laughs> Can you forgive me for going overboard? Can you forgive me for abandoning my post? I knew you'd come back. And releasing a reader and a device to block the reader isn't sending a mixed message? Is that seriously what you want my first impression to be? I know the best way to achieve my dream. I've thought about this a lot. Look, I know you have a dream, but if you go out there, you're going to be making a decision for nine billion other people, changing the way they choose to live their lives. What makes you think you have the right to do that? Give up. I'm next. We can argue about this all you like after the presentation. After it's over. When it's out there. Yes. I really hope that you won't release your specifications until we've talked about it. But I know I can't control what you do. Can you read her? Tell me what she's thinking. What are you doing? Trying to find out if this uh, communications breakthrough is as big a deal as you say it is. Daniel, can you do it? I can. But are you okay with this? You know she is. But you didn't ask. You don't care if this is consensual? If it's down to the wire? Will you just do it, okay? Now, please? Well, she's nervous. The crowd is loud, intimidating. And she's excited. She's been waiting for this for a long time. Her dreams are coming true. Our dreams. She's thinking about all of us. She doesn't want to let us down. Oh, and she's worried about disappointing you. She feels bad about that. But look, most of her thoughts are about the crowd. She looks so positive. Hmm. It makes sense that Vivian would read this way. Ever the optimist? What do you mean? It's like she said, she believes in the people. All that negative stuff you were saying, it doesn't matter. She believes that everyone will figure it out eventually. We're not as cynical as you. Okay. If you have so much faith in them, what do you have against the defense? What are you talking about? I have to go. Well, if you believe that humanity will figure it out, will see your vision, what is so wrong about releasing a device and the defense at the same time? It will delay acceptance. People like you won't understand. Well, then convince us. Give us the choice, present the evidence, and let us be swayed, but you have to give us the choice. Look, if you agree to create a defense, I'll be your test subject to help you perfect the device. I'll be your biggest supporter, but you have to give us the choice, please. We can talk about this after.
Hello world. My name is Vivian Roderick and for our project, my team and I built a mind reader. Let me demonstrate. You dropped your keys before the show and now you're worried about how you're going to get home. You were too distracted by the last presenter's resemblance to your son to focus. And you aren't feeling well. You ate some bad sushi for lunch. Am I correct? If anyone is still not convinced, please raise your hand and I will happily announce your thoughts. Anyone? That's it. She did it. We did it. But now what? Now. Imagine a world with no secrets, no lying, no hiding of your true self. Just openness and honesty and acceptance. That is the world that we will build together. But we will not build this world based on fear. I created this and before I hand it to all of you, I will create an affordable, efficient, convenient, wearable defense against it. I do not believe privacy and secrecy are necessary, and I choose not to practice them in my own life. I believe that all of you will choose the same. Yeah.